you don't need every single zone when you're scalping. So you set these out. If you don't know how to pick out support and resistance, also watch my other video. I'll, it teaches you how to do it. Okay, so then you come in today. So we're now on the one minute time frame. So this is today's action. This is seven in the morning UK time. What I'd be looking for is candles. When they come down to these zones, you just set your alarms here. When the alarm signals, you come and you watch the market. As I've said, all I'm looking for is candles with large tails or engulfing bodies. This one didn't fit the description, so I'll ignore this. Uh, there's tails here, as you can see, but compared to the body, this, this isn't a large tail. This one here is. So what I do is I'd see this candle, I'd see that it's rejecting this zone, I'd set an entry below the low of this candle. Uh, my stop would be above the previous highs, which is this here, this candle here. So I go say because I'm scalping half a pip. So there's half a pip right there. That would be my stop. 213.2 and all you're looking for is a few pips down to the previous low which would be here so when the market reached here personally I'd exit but what I would do is if the market broke through I'd stick with the position but here you can see it's rejected and so I'm out when you follow the market on it comes up it comes down Gets to here, you get a large tail on the body, showing a strong rejection. You enter above the high of this candle, your stop would be a little low. You're looking for the previous closest high, which is here. See how the market bursts through? Because the market has burst through, I'll now stay with the position. And what you can do is you can follow it by following significant candles. So you follow this candle. When this candle forms, the stop moves up to the bottom of this candle. You let this run. This candle here is a significant candle in size compared to these. So the stop would then go to here. It bursts up here. Stop would go to here. And then you just follow the market. So there's another significant candle. Stop would go up to there. And eventually you would get stopped out around about here. But what I'm saying is when you're scalping this, if you follow this method, where only if it breaks the, the previous high or the previous low you stick with the position, you can make some very good um, points. So you would have got stopped out on here. That's 16 points. And what you would have been risking would have been, say, even 6 points. So that's almost a 3 to 1. So you can get some good. Everyone who says that scalping is is not profitable and it can't be done um, seriously they're, they're talking nonsense if you know what you're doing you can you can trade any time frame so you come along there's no signal here it's a, it's a tail but it's not big enough for me compared to the body so i wouldn't have taken it you would have got profit but i wouldn't have taken it personally you follow it along here you go here's a strong reaction here the tail is very large compared to the body enter above the high where is the resistance zone that's going to meet? Here you can see all these lows here. This is where it's going to meet resistance. As you can see this candle here touches the resistance. Didn't break through. For me, I would have exited this position. If you like, you can follow it with the stop. Cut the bottom of the bar and then just follow the significant bars. It's, it's, it's whatever your personal preference is. Okay, it comes along here. We're now at 1 o'clock. Um, Bear in mind, this is only from the previous day's major support and resistance levels. You don't need anything else when you're scalping. So you come down here, you break through the line a little bit. But you see this candle right here? This is a positive engulfing candle. For me, an engulfing candle has to be larger than at least the previous five candles. With this candle here, you can see it's larger than well, all of these candles, basically. So even though the market broke through this area, it's instantly rejected it and it's forced itself back up. So I would enter above the high of this candle, stop below the low, and your um, next zone would be up here somewhere. 
this is where you'd be in and out. This is why you need a small spread. So you'd be in and out.